Good day, everybody. Today is, I think it's our first big video of, no, maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, welcome to 2025. Uh, you haven't seen anything. This is Brian from quantlabs.net.com. Uh, in this uh, video, I want to talk about the tools of 2025. What are the most in-demand tools for being a quant researcher that leads into, obviously, trading, automated trading. doesn't matter if you're in a HFT firm or as an independent trader. What are your uh, tools that you either want to learn uh, and implement or what you're currently using? So <clears throat> these are the set of tools I think most people are using, and some of them may surprise you. So the first one is obviously trading view or strategies. You've got millions of people thinking they're HFT programmers, thinking that they're quant researchers with uh, TradingView. It is possible, for sure, because TradingView, out of all the major trading platforms, the only platform that I know of that gives you access to all the big uh, uh, regulated exchanges on the CME, the ICE, uh, and sub-second data. Uh, so yeah, you can at least look at uh, the high frequency trade uh, data on trading view so some of you may be doing this so are you doing that want to do it uh that's for trading view and using their uh, uh their uh scripted uh proprietary language pine script the next one that might surprise some people or at least has been forgotten not a lot of people are highly technical so their second choice would be excel so a lot of banks hedge funds use this um, sometimes you might be needing to develop some kind of Excel add-in uh, for this to help on research and formulas. Uh, and yeah, Excel is pretty popular. Next one, obviously, is C++. We talked about that quite a lot for uh, production uh, trading systems, high-speed trading systems. So there's no if, ends, or buts about that. Python's the other one more for the front end uh, outside of JavaScript and research. So that's a no-brainer there. So let's go into the actual one survey that was done um, a while back. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of uh, those tools. Which, which one would you use on that? On that? Uh, on that? Uh, and that's found on my YouTube uh, channel, Quant Labs, right here, community, right there. Okay. So um, let's talk about uh, what other people are using. This still, I think, is in order of what people are using, namely in, in the uh, billion billionaire trading shops. <laughs> Obviously, Python's number one. Uh, we don't have to ask about that. You look at AI, machine learning. Um, that's still number one, without a doubt. Moving forward, still number one. Used for backtesting, number one. And then when you get into um, the C++, again, out of all the languages that, out there, especially the um, high-speed uh, systems. A lot of them are going to be in C++. A lot of the top-paying jobs will be C++. We've gone over that numerous times. Um, and uh, Python's good for the prototyping, development, and front-end, as it says here, uh, right here. And uh, for the performance, high performance on the training systems, it's definitely C++. Now, as I said, I'm not going to mention any further on the Trading view, I just like it for instant um, back testing rate, just for getting a quick view on what's tradable or not. That's without taking the um, futures and options courses I've got. Uh, don't forget about that. Um, get more information here. Click in here um, for only 27 whopping quid in the US or UK, sorry. And um, yeah, what also is out there is uh, Excel. So as I said, um, a lot of the front end non-techie quant analysts and traders, researchers will use Excel. A lot more popular than you think. So um, we'll leave it at that. Let me know what tools you'd prefer, want to see. Be interested to see what you got among my audience and who gets uh, my uh, emails. Speaking of, want to know more about what I do. Uh, just go over to the Learn tab here at quantlabsnet.com. And we've got the C++ HFT ebook. It's already out. Hundreds of people download it, so give it a whirl. Give it a, a read. It's free. Thanks for watching.